So here I am on our property with my son Titus. <laughs> and uh, we have this one spot here that has been calling me for a really long time. Um, you know, I spend, I like to spend about a year or two on our land, and this land has just a lot of significance. And honestly, it's nothing. It is absolutely bare. It's sand, it's clay, it's just, I mean, it's just disgusting. But what it is, really, it is, to me, represents what a large population of our world have to work with. You know, when I traveled across the world, all I saw was, you know, um, indigenous folks and people of the land, they terraced properly. And that's what we're going to do. I, I could choose on my six acres. I have other places that are that are nice, that are great. But I choose this place on top of the hill facing kind of east. Um, I choose this place to grow. Right. And so um, because it's a challenge. And so my first thing that I did here on this desolate place was um, actually start burning uh, wood um, because biochar uh, really is great for the land. And so I started burning wood on here and we're just spreading ashes and we had a, a big rain. And so me and Titus decided to come out here and start building our terrace and we're going to terrace. You know, when I went to Costa Rica and I went to Puerto Rico and when I was over in Afghanistan and Iraq, you know, places, these people who understand the land, they knew how to terrace properly. And so I'm going to challenge myself to turn this place into a a biodome of microbiology from, you know, from all, all types of organisms. And I'm pleased to announce that me and my son Titus, we came here today and I flipped over one of these daggone stumps that we burn. And look what we got here, Mr. Lizard. But more importantly, guys, look what we have here. Underneath all of this, we have a freaking worm. Where would a worm come from? I'll tell you, like I was just telling my son Titus, think of worms as whales. Another lizard. Um, think of worms as whales. They are in the, um, you know, they're in this earth. They're deep. Um, they are just going around doing their thing. There's so many species of worms. Uh, a large part of our worms that we have here in the United States are um, are, uh, are are not native. However, down here in the southeast, we do have native worms. Um, Dr. Bruce Snyder from Georgia Central, I mean Georgia um, College, GCSU, down here in Milledgeville, he's actually been studying uh, the diverse, diversification of uh, native worms. And, um, and this looks to be a native worm. These worms, um, as, as far as regenerative agriculture is concerned, they don't hang down really low like big earthworms do. Um, these guys are, um, they, they kind of hang a little bit further up towards our land. But a lot of these guys, uh, they get destroyed because of, uh, of tillage, you know, and, and so we destroy their, um, their habitat, uh, due to, uh, till. And so what we're trying to do here is do a no-till method and also create the biodiversification in our soils. Um, with that being said, by charring our wood, we were able to increase the level of nutrients in this soil, and this worm actually sensed it, and it came up just like a whale would. Hey, what's all this? You know, I'm out here seeing what's going on, and worms are good. Worms aerate the soil, so I'm super pleased that in this desolate little spot that we got, we're able to uh, do some things on a small scale, and... Um, this is our journey, man. We're going to actually uh, really be focusing on um, taking this land and turning it back to the way uh, nature uh, intended for it to be. And um, that's what humans can do. We can, we can actually, um, you know, um, we can actually do good to the planet um, instead of take away from it. And so um, that's my approach to this. Uh, follow my journey at John's Joyous Agro Culinary Journey on YouTube and um, see what we do here. This is pretty cool. 
Lizard just like, hey, Bubba. Let me see. Hey, man. What's up? What's up? Can I say hi to the crowd? Yeah? Cool. All right. I'm out.